Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's episode of Game Poke, the show where we cover gaming related topics and talk a lot about bollocks. And today's bollocks is about a custom arcade stick that I bought from Monster Joysticks. Now recently I made a Let's Play for the games Power Strike 1 and Power Strike 2 for the Master System. Whilst recording them, I was using the Mega Drive arcade stick, the standard free button one, and I was having a lot of trouble with it. You see, most controllers that are over 30 years old, they're all right, they still function okay, but arcade sticks, no, they seem to wear a bit and go a bit shitty, they squeak like mad, and to be fair, the design back then just wasn't as good as it is now. So when it comes to retro controllers, like your Mega Drive controller, your SNES controller, your whatever controller, you tend to be fine. But when it comes to arcade sticks, some of them suck and they just age badly. Also, I should point out that the Power Strike 1 and 2 Let's Play, while I'm talking about it now, hasn't actually been released as of yet. And that's because I am shit at YouTube. Also recently, I was able to talk to a viewer of the channel, someone else who owns a YouTube channel and is doing way better than I am. I've got him down here because I wanted to say who it was and I can't pronounce the name of the channel, so give me a break. Abbas Lesiel. No, I fucked it up. There'll be a link in the description, please check out his channel, he's got over 13,000 subscribers, so he sure as shit doesn't need me for anything, but he was nice enough to just chat and say how he enjoyed the channel, he wasn't trying to force his opinion of what I should do in terms of YouTube, which was much appreciated, but luckily he did know a lot about arcade sticks, and he gave me some sound advice. He told me to check out Monster Joysticks, and that was some bloody good advice indeed, because they have a ton of cool shit. So seeing as I was on the market for a new Mega Drive arcade stick, I thought, let's tackle all of this. Mega Drive arcade stick can play Mega Drive, Master System, and Atari 2600. On the website, it says that the controllers, the Mega Drive ones, will play Mega Drive and Master System. They didn't state that they play Atari 2600. So I emailed them directly, they got back to me and said, yes, it does everything the original Mega Drive joysticks do. So this was awesome news. So I picked the Deluxe Mega Drive Genesis Retro Joystick Kit. I went for the jelly green one. I don't know why. There was numerous colors. I decided whatever I was gonna do, I was gonna customize the buttons, get some different ones, because the website also sold different colored buttons that you could sell, <coughs> that you could purchase separately. So that's what I was gonna do. But seeing as I don't know how to build an arcade, fucking stick thing, joystick, what's it? I don't know how to build one. I thought, let's keep it simple. Buttons must be simple to put them in. The ball on the arcade stick, I think you screw them on, but I wasn't certain, so I thought, I'll just focus on getting the color of that I want. And I thought, I want green. So I went with green. Now, as you may have figured out already, you have to build this fucking thing yourself. So that's what I did. Started from the ground up, started building it, didn't have a clue what I was doing. Came with instructions. Not the best instructions in the world, but they kind kind of did the job. I followed the instructions to a T, and there were a couple of times I was confused. Mainly the wiring. You get to a point where it tells you how to do the wiring. You know what it doesn't make very clear? What order the wires go in. I mean, it tries to make it simple for you, but it would be so much simpler if you just showed a fucking picture. There are some various pictures all about the place here that are quite useful, but that's the one you could really do with, and it's not here. The only one that's kind of here shows the wires from afar, and you can't tell where they're going. You can't tell what comes from where and goes to what. So it's a bit shit in that regard. But more on that in a minute. I will say, also, with the extra colored buttons and the system fit fucking controller itself, I also got a see-through plastic cover plate. This was so I had the ability to put my own artwork on there, which I thought would be cool. Funny thing is, I'm a complete twat and forgot to buy anything in terms of artwork, and I can't draw anything except fucking stick men. So I went down to the local HMV shop in Britain, that's a place that sells CDs, DVDs, that kind of crap, and managed to get a Pac-Man poster, and I mullered it to shit. Managed to make it cut and fit surprisingly well for an idiot like me, and all in all the building of this thing went quite smoothly. I will say there were a couple of stupid things I did. One, when I put the 
actual stick onto the cover plate, I forgot to take the sticker off of the cover plate. That was thick. So I just ripped it off and tore it. Then when I started getting down to the nitty gritty mechanics of the thing, I did another dump. Turns out I put the stick on the wrong way around. Up was down, down was up. Bollocks. Luckily, an easy fix. Unscrew it, turn it around, screw it back on. Big deal. Then luckily down the line I had some foresight. The lid, the basic cover, when you screw it all onto the body, I thought, I don't really trust this. Or rather, I don't trust me because of the wiring side of things. So I thought before I do that, I'll plug it into a Mega Drive and see if I've wired it up right. I hadn't. I played Beyond Oasis and I knew the buttons for that. A brings up summoning. So in this game that wouldn't work unless you had a save file, which luckily I did. Managed to summon something. B, stab. And C is jump. Also on the side of the arcade stick there's meant to be a start button. I had the jump button and the start button mixed up. When I went to jump I paused the fucking thing. So whoops. But upon realising my balls up, I fixed it. Again, I don't blame myself for that one. Picture really wasn't clear. I went first wire to the first button, second wire to the second button. Third wire doesn't go to the third button, it goes to the start button. But why would I bloody know that? Eventually, it was finished, built and done. And this is what it looked like. As you can see, it's turned out quite all right. It's not too bad. So the first thing I tested this on, because it's me, was my master system, which is right there, telly there, seems I built it here, might as well fucking just test it right there. And it works beautifully. Look at me playing Alex Kidd in Miracle World here. Surprisingly, I'm doing okay. I'm jumping when I want to jump, I'm attacking when I want to attack, there's no lag, there's no delay, the buttons work perfectly the instant I push the fucking things. And I've never played Alex Kidd in Miracle World with any kind of arcade stick. I mean any. I've never done it. First time doing it, did quite well. Surprised, I thought I'd be dying a hell of a lot sooner. Seeing as I had already tested it on a Mega Drive when I found out I had two buttons the wrong way around, there was no point testing that again, so I went downstairs to the Atari 2600. Yes, I know the picture quality here looks a bit F, the CRT makes everything look dark, but it works. I was playing Miss Pac-Man, Everything worked. I later played Asteroids to make sure the action button worked, because of course Miss Pac-Man doesn't use that. Works fine. Turns out, in the state of my one here, the blue button, aka B, is the Atari button, since Atari 2600 has only one action button. All in all, while a little awkward to build and sometimes a bit fucking annoying, I managed to build it. And I'm damn impatient with everything in life. It was okay. It wasn't too bad. The only mistake that could have been avoided was the wiring one. There should have been a better picture in the instructions. But it wasn't the end of the world. I mean, I just swapped something. That's only because I had the foresight to not screw this down first. If I had screwed it down, then found out, I'd have been pretty pissed. There'd been some slagging off then. But otherwise, this thing works really, really well. And there's so many different variations on what you can buy on Monster Joystick's website. Hell, they've got one made out of see-through clear plastic for you to see all the time. Pretty cool, but I just wanted jet black. The other thing they also sell, and I'm very tempted to try this sometimes, is they sell one made from plywood. I shit you not. There it is. I don't know why, but I think it's cool that they did. So anyway, this is just one of the products from Monster Joysticks. What do you think? Would you try one of these? I mean, listen to that. Listen, listen. Where are you? I'm really chuffed with this. This is awesome. This is going to add a whole new world of gaming for me. Wish I had done this before I recorded the Power Strike video that you've yet to see. I know, I suck. Maybe we'll bring that one out next week. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope if you were interested in getting one of these, this has helped you somehow. And if you didn't know anything about it, hopefully you learned the thing. And if not, bollocks. I hope you just enjoyed the video any old how. Please click like, comment, subscribe, and all that other YouTube horse shit. If you don't mind, I'm just going to go play some bitch in my games. See you next time.